first let's identify the 507 system. The monitor is actually rectangular like this. Um, it also has five buttons across the top, code, mode, minus, plus, and set. If that is what your monitor looks like, then you do have the 507 system. And if you have um, a sensor that looks like this sensor, this is actually the flow through, the 507 flow through sensor. Um, this sensor, when you put it on your valve stem, you can actually air up your tire through the sensor. This is called the 507 flow through. We also have a 507 cap sensor, which looks like this. Um, the 507 cap sensor screws onto the valve stem as well, but in order to air up your tire, you have to unscrew it from the valve stem and then air up your tire and then put it back on again. So those are the two 507 sensors that we're gonna be talking about today. When you get your 507 kit, there's a variety of items that come with it. One is a dash mount. This actually affixes to the dash where you can put your monitor in it and the monitor will easily slip in and out. We give you the two-sided tape that will actually affix this to the dash. We also have a suction cup mount for the monitor as well. The monitor sits on the end of that, so you can use that on a window or on your dash. We have two forms of power. One is a hardwire kit with an inline fuse. The hardwire kit can be wired into your ignition, so when you turn the ignition on, the monitor will come on. We also have the typical cigarette lighter type um, charger, and that will plug into the side of the monitor to charge the battery, which is a lithium ion battery in the monitor. Also, uh, which comes with the uh, 507 flow through kit, are caps to cap off the sensor because they are flow throughs. We also give you in that particular kit, the flow through kit, O-rings and a variety of screws and also a couple of Allen wrenches because there are little screws that screw onto the valve stem that hold the sensor in place, kind of an anti-theft device. Um, with the cap system for the 507, we give, you this, we give you two of these, two of these tools that actually hold the sensor and you put this onto the sensor just like this and then you screw the sensor on. And this has an anti-theft device as well, which is the outer case, which spins around. So once it's tight on the valve stem, someone can't come along and take it off.